Okay, so you're probably wondering at this point, what do icebergs have to do <laughs> with all this since I have some cute little icebergs on, on the handout. And so when I think of, that's my, that's my iceberg. When I think of us as humans, uh, I think of us really as like an iceberg. Um, so the tip of the iceberg or the part that's above water is the physical. And I think most people, you know, it's like we're an iceberg, we're out, we're out, we're out in the fresh air, you know, the, there's seagulls and there's polar bears, and we're so taken with the physical and all the physical experiences that we actually forget about this part. I think most people totally forget that there's this spiritual part of them. This is the, you know, the rest of the iceberg underneath the water that people forget about because they're so focused on the physical. So that's the, the spirit, or this is what you know, has been called the soul or your spirit. And then there's the mind in between is the mind, which is what connects, can connect the physical, your physical experiences and your physical body to the spiritual side. So those are the different layers. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Okay. So, in the, in the diagram, the other thing I have in the diagram, you'll see, is from this, from the mind and from the physical, we've created this physical reality that we're experiencing. And if you notice, each iceberg has its own reality. So really, out of the mind and out of your experiences, you continue to create your own reality. And to me, there is no objective physical reality out there. My experience of reality is going to be different than the experience of everyone in this room's experience of reality. I mean, no two experiences are going to be the same. And our esteemed John McMullen often says this about how people's experiences of, of other people and other things is always different and it just can't be the same because we always have different perception, we have different background, we have different experiences and that's always going to shape how we experience reality in my opinion. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully. Okay, so we've got one iceberg on the diagram, we've got several icebergs so you've got more than one. You've got all these icebergs <coughs> floating around in this huge ocean of whatever. And the ocean is the spiritual side, the kind of like the surface, the in between is the, the mental, and the air above is the physical. And you you have these icebergs floating around, so each person is, you know, kind of focused out and paying attention to the, the physical. But every now and then you can have the icebergs kind of bumping into each other. And I think, you know, the icebergs kind of that are around you are the people that you're connected to. And obviously on paper it's only two dimensions, but, and we can only think in three, but if you'd imagine, you know, this being in just multi, multi, many, in an infinite number of dimensions so that you can have an infinite.